This report from the Division Four State Semifinal Action in Columbus is brought to you by Leland Smith Insurance Services, your local independent auto owners insurance agency, protecting what you've achieved effectively and affordably. Leland Smith Insurance performs for you time after time. And also brought to you by Stoller Concrete. Basketball is about teamwork, and so is Stoller Concrete. Generations of experience investing in our community. All is calm right now at the Schottenstein Center, but that was not the case a few hours ago. Division Four State semifinal action here at the Shot in Columbus. I'm Patrick Kamala reporting for WOSN, and it was a terrific environment for high school boys basketball just a few hours ago. St. Henry and Crestview, both teams in separate matchups, looking to punch their ticket right back here for a state championship game. And we'll start with St. Henry first, the Redskins taking on the Hawks of Highland, and this one was an entertaining one all the way to the very end. The St. Henry fans fired up and ready to go in this one, and the Redskins would get it started early. How about Jay Kanapke with the nice drive taking that one inside? A lot of inside presence early on for St. Henry. Caden Niekamp muscling inside again, and then also again putting this one in there as well. Zach Niekamp getting in on the action as well as he hits this nice Turn around jumper. And knee camp also continuing from downtown. This one is good for free. This next shot, uh, not quite good, but Kanapke in there to clean it up. This one would be close at half. And then in the second half, more Jay Kanapke inside trying to finish. Highland, however, starts pulling away. Andy Miller. Dribbles, puts inside and gets the and one. And then Kendall Hochstetler getting it for the triple, putting in the three pointer. And then this is just kind of how the end of the game went for St. Henry Hochstetler. Gets the carom off of the hands of Riley Link and finishes 57 to 50. Highland coming away with the victory. Missed shots and transitions, among other things, that plagued head coach Eric Rosenbeck. So they started really rooting harder, um, and we had some good looks, and they didn't go down. And as a result, that's long rebounds off threes, shots we want our kids to take. Um, but with those long rebounds, give them the ability to transition, because I thought our half court defense in the first half was pretty dang good. Um, but they got some transition buckets. But I, I think it came down to us not making shots, led to their run outs, and obviously us not scoring. And the other one, um, there's 50 50 balls. I guess if I could do something different, I would, I would have tried the zone in the second quarter instead of the fourth. Um, because of the exact what I was afraid of, because Miller just, he's just too good. He's going to break you down. He's going to get wide open shots. And um, they got kids to cigars that are going to step up and make them. So um, I think those are the two biggest um, reasons for the runs. Jake and Apke finished with 17 points. Zach Niekamp chipped in 12. And Caden Niekamp with 13 for the Redskins, who finish off a terrific season indeed. On, in the second game, Tonight it was Crestview taking on Richmond Heights. Crestview looking to get back to the state title game. First time since 2014 when they won the state championship and they would have the Richmond Heights Spartans to deal with. Bob Huggins in attendance in this one and he would see a show early. How about starting with Derek Dealey would be uh, jostled around a little bit and then he would get it going. Kalen Etzler, the first guy putting up the points for Crestview, drive and scores, and then Dealey gets it going. Drew Klein feeding him in the corner for the three. He knocks that one down, and then Dealey dribbling in. How about that nice jumper off the glass? He knocks it down. Dealey playing a little defense as well, getting on the other side, able to draw the charge. Putting that one in, and then how about it? Just because he's feeling good about himself, Derek Dealey with another three, he would have 12 points in the first half. Nice put back here by Wade Sheets as we move on to the second half. And then Javen Etzler starts to get it going. He gets fed inside and that gets him fired up. And now Etzler running the floor very well. Scary good for a 6'7 guy to run it this well. He puts it up and in. Etzler down low and one, puts that one in. Convoy stays in Columbus, 59 to 49. They will match up 
and it took a bit to get going, but the dream is one step closer. You know, we're, we're one step closer to a, a, a goal and a dream, and we had to fight against a really good basketball team um, that presented us some challenges that, for all intents and purposes, we hadn't really seen all year. Um, and it took us, I think, some time to get adjusted to their, their how good they were and the style of play that they play and, and how aggressive they were. But um, we just talked at halftime about what we've talked about all year. And I know it's it's corny, but I think in today, you know, when we talk about loving one another and having a care and concern for one another, um, these guys do, and they rallied around that. Their focus on Javen, that's what's got me going. My teammates got me the ball. They're doubling off of me, so I just had to take advantage of the open shots I was I was given and knock down, get my teammates going, and I opened up Javen in the second half. It's always been a, a goal of ours since since we were little. We started playing together since uh, about third grade, and that's always just been a goal to be able to get here. And I never even thought I never thought he'd be here. Dave Nessler would finish with 25 points. Derek Dealey chipping in 18 total. They would be the bulk of the offense for the Crestview Knights today. Crestview will take on the Highland Hawks tomorrow for the Division IV State Championship. Tip off of that will be at 515 right here at the Schottenstein Center in Columbus. And we'll bring you highlights and reaction from the end of that game on WOSN and online at WOSN.TV. That is going to wrap it up for our report. From the shot for the Division IV State Semifinals. More action on the way for you. Keep it here on WOSN. Again, we'll have highlights from the state championship. Can Crestview do it again and win another state championship? The Highland Hawks are all that stand in their way. Reporting for WOSN, I'm Patrick Hamler. Have a good night.